Thank you for choosing Land Air Sea Systems. In this video, we're going to go over how to use the features on your Silver Cloud application. To locate the available features, select Device List in your app and select the device you wish to manipulate. At the top of your screen, you will see a list of the available features. If you are using an iPhone, as shown in the video, you will see an arrow. If you tap, that will show your energy saver, which is your final feature. We will begin with the share spot feature. Share spot allows you to send a link to a person of your choosing that will allow them to see the live tracking of your device without providing them access to the account. To use this, select share spot and select an option from the provided list. This will allow you to send the link through a variety of different channels, including text or email. The next feature is Fence. Fence places a user-defined virtual parameter around the device's current location and will notify you when the device updates outside of that area. To use this feature, tap Fence and a red circle will pop up on your screen. The red circle on your screen represents the parameter of the fence and you can drag with your fingers to change the size of the fence. Sometimes when you close and reopen your app, you may not see this fence represented, but the fence is still in place. This fence will disappear as soon as the unit leaves the area and you will be notified. Keeping in mind, you can reset this as many times as you like. The next feature is history. To view the historical playback from your device, tap history. If you have multiple devices, you can select which one you'd like to view. You can also select a time frame. Your options are today, yesterday, or you can select a specific date to view. Now that you have your device and date selected, you can select Generate Playback. And once your history has loaded, you'll be able to view the full path that your device traveled. If you would like to view your history up close, you can pinch to zoom in on the blue dot representing your device. And your screen will automatically follow along with the dot as the history plays. On iPhones, you have the option to remove the green lines by selecting Show Path at the top of your screen. You can also turn off the Auto Center feature at the top which will allow you to change the map however you choose as the playback continues. To recenter your device, simply select Auto Center to turn it back on. The next feature we will select and go over is the Lights feature. This can be used to turn your device's lights off, making your device appear as though it is powered down. Simply select Turn Lights Off. Select OK. And now a command has been sent to your device that will disable the lights on it. Select lights and turn lights on to reverse this. The final feature that is available in app is energy saver. The energy saver feature places your device on a timer. While the device is in this mode, it will only wake and update on the time interval selected. To enable energy saver on your device, select the time interval you would like. For this, we will choose every 30 minutes. Select Confirm. And the command has now been sent. The next time your device is in motion, it will receive this command and begin updating on the time interval you've selected. If you would like to disable Energy Saver mode, reselect Energy Saver at the top of your screen. On the next screen, scroll to the bottom of the list and select Original Tracking Mode. Select Confirm. And this will send the command to your device to put it back in the full tracking mode. Once your device wakes and updates on the next scheduled time interval, it will resume updating whenever the device is in motion. Thank you for watching. For further assistance, you can check out our other videos. Visit our website at www.landairc.com or call 847-462-8100.